<clears throat> Beth. Hi. Um, I've been waiting for you. I thought you might need me. What? What? What's going on? Why are you here? I, uh, I couldn't stay away, Philip. Don't, don't, please, don't be angry with me. Oh, Beth, come on. I, <laughs> we worked this out back in Springfield. We did. It was the but... doctor's recommendation that I bring Lizzie here alone. I know. Because we need to have some time to bond together. I, I know, I know, and I don't, I don't have a problem with that. Okay, well, what's the deal then? Obviously something is wrong or you wouldn't be here. No, no, nothing's wrong. I mean, not, not really. Beth, I really don't think that we want to have this conversation right now. You know what? Why don't Why don't you tell me what room you're staying this one. in? I checked in as your wife. Where did that snake hide that videotape? I will find it and save her. Now, something tells me all did not go as planned for our Blakey. Now, what can I do with her mother? Are you leaving Get so your soon? Get filthy hands off of me. You know, she's not the only one who can slap you with a Holly, restraining order. Holly, Holly, I just caught you breaking and entering, which is a definite no-no. And as for Blake's restraining order, we've been all through this. You just try and get near her. Herself. She Such can't resist life. the idea of me, Holly. So no matter how much you try and help, it doesn't make any difference. It's a losing proposition. Thanks. It's just uh, some stuff that the kids forgot to take with them uh, when they went up to Rusty's. Look, uh, I know that you're really committed to this remarriage or whatever you want to call it. But are you sure you don't want to wait a few days? Just let me go. Let me be with my family. No, Reva, I don't think so. We had an agreement. And you broke it when you made that stupid tape. Why did you have to go and mess things up? Why couldn't you just be satisfied? Now I'm gonna have to fix everything all over again. What do you mean, fix things? You can't kill me. You said so yourself. No, I can't kill you, but I could just, like, leave you in here and walk away and never come back. No. Cassie. Uh, I didn't know you were there. Well, I wasn't there. <laughs> I just got here this second. So were you, uh... Did I miss anything juicy? No. No. Were you talking about me? No, actually, we were talking about packing. I was uh, trying to figure out what I should bring up with me in the car. Is it little old me enough? <laughs> <laughs> I, I want to uh, talk to you, Cassie. About what? Well, I just think I owe you an apology. For what? For a lot of things. And, and now, I think before Josh and I get married is, is the time. I know I haven't been a very good sister to you, but all that's going to change. I thought we were okay now. Well, just let me finish, okay? I mean, I, I know that you never believed that I had a heart, and you probably still don't believe that, but I do. It's just been a little hard to show it because I've been kind of nervous and, and in, insecure. But that's all going to change with this marriage. Because now I'm going to have a family. And I wouldn't do anything to hurt a single member of it. And if you believe anything else, believe that, please. You haven't done anything wrong. None of this is your fault. And if you had done something wrong, you wouldn't be here right now. I want us to be sisters. Well, that's very nice. That's no, very nice. Cassie, I'm serious. I want us to, to be real sisters. I want you to be my sister. 
Thank you. It, it would mean a lot to me. You know, uh, I mean, and now that Josh and I are going to go away and we're going to do these I do things, I, I know deep down in my heart that you probably don't even want to be there to see it. That's not true. I don't have a problem coming. It's, um... That I'm not Riva. I'm not that woman that you've grown to love as your sister. I wasn't going to say that. But it's okay. I mean, I, I, I understand how you feel. I do. But I was just hoping that maybe we could get to something else, you know, something that would be important to each other. And that's why I want to ask you if you'll stand up for me. If you'd be my maid of honor. Yeah. I'd love to. <laughs> you see? I knew everything was going to be okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, down to business. I am happy to report the project's been set. We're going to have the best scientists available. You see, money does have its advantages. There's no substitute for it. If Michael had only seen it that way. My credentials in medical research are certainly the equal of Michael Burke's. Oh, I never doubted that they were. And I have everything I need to continue with this project. It's the, it's the endless turnover among the staff at City Hall. I mean, all of them want to be state senators, state senators want to be congressmen. Yeah, no, no, you need a program to tell them apart. Yeah, it's so damn time consuming. You know, the other day I just... The other day you what? I sensed a certain pall in the atmosphere the second we got out the elevator. Oh, yes. Yeah, Alan Spaulding. Who's that woman with him? I don't know. Uh, I've seen her before. I don't know her name, though. Yeah, yeah, I saw her just the other day. Her face looks familiar, but I, I can't remember where I know her from. Hi, two, please. If I didn't have faith in you, Vicky, I would have never reopened the Spalding Labs. I just want to be certain that we're both on the same page when it comes to what I bring to the table. I'll tell you, my fear is that Michael's already accomplished what we're seeking to do. That he's already cloned someone and, and used the growth formula on the clone. That's what I believe, but I don't have any actual proof. Yeah, well, I think it's a pretty good guess, though. I didn't know you were in the guessing business, Alan. I always thought you were interested in science. I'm interested in being on the cutting edge. If you're not on the cutting edge, you're nowhere. You might as well pack up your tent and leave. Well, I've got mine pitched, and I'm in for the long haul. I'll drink to that. To medical breakthroughs. <laughs> I'll tell you what's driving my curiosity mad is who Michael cloned. Now, Michael and you let me assume that the clone had died, but he never said it had. Meaning? Well, meaning that the clone, he or she, is out there somewhere. It's possible. Yes. Now, Josh Lewis backed this project initially, and I think that he might have the answer. But from what you told me, Josh Lewis isn't about to tell you anything. Well, maybe I can figure the whole thing out. Now, you worked very closely with Michael. Do you have any idea who the candidate might be? I honestly have no idea. And since Michael caught me going through his papers, I doubt he's going to tell me anything ever again. Well, Josh is not a kind of man that would take risks. It's not of his character, but... Wait a minute. What? Josh's Achilles heel is his wife. Reva? But there's no way Josh Lewis could handle two Reva Shanes. You checked in as my wife. Is that such a leap? Yeah. I mean, I mean, I was your wife, the mother of your child, our child, and after the way we left things in Springfield... No, I... actually, you know what? <laughs> the way we left things in Springfield was that I was going to bring Lizzie here by myself, okay? And, and we made that decision together. I know. Right. So, what's going on? Well, I was thinking about no, things No, 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 no. Thought... There was no thinking to be done. It was all thought out. Well, I can change my mind about something as important as this. Uh... I'm getting really sick of everybody telling me how important this is. You don't think that I know that this is important? Philip, I... Listen, I love my little girl more than anything else in the world. I know that, I know that. Philip, Philip, I, I didn't... I didn't come here to fight, okay? Well, you I know just what, Beth? So you're screwing everything up. Do you know that? Do you know that you're screwing everything up? 
How am I doing that? I mean, I mean, from my from my point of view, all that I'm doing is trying to put this family back together, a real family, with a husband and a wife uh, and a child. You're pushing. And you're pushing this. And right now, that is probably the last thing that you want to do.